Okay, today we're going to talk about Leak Code SQL question 178, rank scores. I would say about half of the interviews, technical interviews for data engineering roles involve SQL questions, and generally they're not that hard. Um, it's really more whether the interviewer likes you and wants to uh, move forward, <laughs> if that's actually going to happen. So, uh, but anyway, it's, it can be relaxing to practice these, and this is a good example of a Windows function. Um, kind of problem. So so it says rank scores. As soon as you see rank or like row number or anything like that, you should be thinking probably the interviewer wants to see a Windows function. Um, and we've got a table scores, which is a scores for various games. Each game has an ID and uh, there's a corresponding score. And the question is we want to rank the scores uh, basically from highest to lowest. Uh, if there's a tie between two scores, both should have the same ranking. So what does that mean? It means that if you have two games or two scores that are tied for first place, the next highest one will be called second place, not third place. In some magazines like US News and World Report, when they're doing rankings with schools, um, there'll be a hole between those ranks. So, you know, you've got Harvard, Wharton are ranked at the top for business schools then the next highest one, Stanford, or whatever it is, would be ranked third. Um, in this case, there are no holes, so Stanford would be second. That means that we use the dense rank function in SQL. Uh, the alternative is the rank function. With the rank function, we use, uh, there, we would uh, actually put a hole there. Um, and then after a tie, the next ranking number, as I said, should be the next consecutive integer value. There's no holes between ranks, which means we use dense rank and you return the result table or by score in descending order. So let's take a look at an example real fast. Okay, so we got the scores table. As I mentioned, um, if you look at score ID three and score ID five, those are ranked, uh, those both have the highest scores. So the rank would be one for them. But the next highest score is 3.85. Um, that doesn't get ranked third, it gets ranked sec second. So that means that we use uh, dense rank instead of rank. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at my solution. I've got a runtime error because I was, uh, I was messing around with this before I made this video. But anyway, um, a lot of the solutions that are posted for this problem don't use any kind of a Windows function. I found in my experience that if you know too much, um, it doesn't go well during the interview. If you get a question like this, they're generally want to see if you actually know how to use a Windows function because that's what most people use. If you don't use a Windows function, if you do it a fancy way, um, then the interviewer might just fail you uh, arbitrarily. So the way I would handle this is I would say, is it all right if I use Windows function? And the interviewer would probably say, yes, that's fine, go ahead. So basically the way it works is you say select score and then dense rank over order by score descending. So all Windows functions are, are are kind of formatted that way. You start out with the function, in this case it's dense rank, then you have over, and then you say how it's actually going to get ranked. So it's getting ranked by score descending, not score ascending. And then you'll notice that I put quotes around the rank. That's because rank is actually a function. It's the other Windows function I mentioned. And if I don't, it'll throw an error. Um, and we're taking that from the scores table, and then we order the result by score descending. So let's take a look at how this Okay, 639 microseconds. Okay, so that one did it and supposedly 639 microseconds. Eight. Now let's take a look at it if we don't use dense rank. So this is an example of doing it manually if you don't know the Windows function. And um, basically, it's formatted the same way except we're not using the function. So it's select score, and then it's select count star from, and then we have a subquery. Since there's a subquery, we have to use a, an alias. I'm just using CTE. So it's select distinct score from scores. And then the outer query, it's where S, which is the score, 
is greater than or equal to the score from the, uh, the original query. So if you think about that, it's like you have two scores that are tied for number one. How many uh, scores, count the number of scores that are greater than that? Well, it's zero, okay? And then, um, then you've got another one that was at 3.85, I believe, in the first example. So how many, uh, how many scores are greater than that? Um, well, it's actually two, uh, but we're, we want to do dense rank in this case, so we wouldn't count two, we would only count one of those, and that's why we use the select distinct score. So it essentially accomplishes the same thing as dense rank. Um, if we get rid of the distinct clause, then it's basically the same as rank. And that's from scores, ordered by score descending. So we can take a look at whether this runs any faster than the using the Windows function. It actually runs a little bit, <laughs> actually runs a little bit faster, according to this. But let's try running it again because um, I suspect sometimes that uh, lead code doesn't actually run all of the the different test cases every single time, and that might um, explain why the runtime varies. Let's see what happens. Okay, so running it again, we get about the same same runtime as we did um, using the Windows function. So. I would guess if we were to do a thousand simulations, we would get around 639 microseconds. Um, I think knowing how to do these kind of inner queries like this is a good, it's a good trick to have. Sometimes you might have an interview like at Meta or Google or someplace where they say you can't use the Windows function and that's the case you have to, it's good to be able to kind of pump this out. Or you might have an interviewer who's really advanced and that interviewer might actually be impressed by you knowing this sort of thing. But in general, I would start with the, the Windows function. Anyway, thank you very much and uh, appreciate your time.